Okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to answer questions related to Lagrange multiplier. Okay, let's look at a simple question here. Given that the function f x y equals to 2x squared plus x y plus y squared plus 200 on the constraint given as x plus y equals to 200, using the Lagrange multiplier method, find x and y. Okay, so there are four steps all together to answer this question. Step number one, we need to find the function g x. So the function gx is obtained from the uh, constraint equation, which is x plus y equals to 200. So shift the 200 to the left, we will get x plus y minus 200 equals to 0. So what is on the left-hand side will become the function gx. So hence, gx equals to x plus y minus 200. Okay, so that is step number one. In step number two, we will find the leg range function f, capital F, x. So capital F, x, y, the function f, uh, x, y is given by the function f plus lambda times the uh, function g. All right. So from here, substitute the fun uh, f, x, y with 2x squared plus x, y plus y squared plus 200 plus lambda times the function g which is x plus y minus 200 okay and then we expand uh, this uh, bracket we will get f x y equals to 2 x square plus x y plus y square plus 200 plus lambda times x is equals to lambda x lambda times y equals to lambda y and lambda times negative 200 equals to negative 200 lambda okay so that is step number two in step number three we need to find the differentiation of the function the lag range function compared with x y and then lambda okay let's start off with uh, differentiation of the uh, function uh, lag range function compared with x so from here when we differentiate compare with x, just focus on the terms with x. So 2x squared, 2 times 2 will give us 4x. Okay? Differentiate xy, the answer is y. And then followed by differentiate lambda x, the answer is lambda. And then what uh, the answer that we have found, we equate it with 0 to give us equation 1. Okay? Next, we differentiate the leg range function compared with y. So look at those terms with y only. Here there's no y, we ignore it. Differentiate xy, the answer is x. Differentiate y squared, the answer is 2y. And then differentiate lambda y, the answer is lambda. So the answer we equal to 0. Then uh, say this is equation 2. And then next, f lambda so we differentiate this function compared with lambda so here there's no lambda all right we ignore it okay let's start off with lambda x when we differentiate compare with lambda the answer is x differentiate lambda y we will get y and then differentiate negative 200 lambda the answer is negative 200 equals to zero let's say this is equation three all right so from here, we need to uh, eliminate lambda. So in order to eliminate lambda, we will take equation 1 minus equation 2. Okay? So in step 4, we, in order to find x and y, we will eliminate lambda, as I said. So we will take equation 1 minus equation 2. Alright? So 4x minus x, the answer is 3x. And then y minus 2y equals to negative y. So lambda minus lambda, we have eliminated lambda. And then on the right side, 0 minus 0 is 0. So from here, shift the negative y to the right. We have 3x equals to y. Let's say this is equation 4. So now we substitute equation 4 into equation 3. So we will have x plus, substitute the y with 3x minus 200 equals 0. So x plus 3x equals to 4x. Shift the negative 200 to the right, we will get positive 200. So from here, x is equals to 200 divided by 5. The answer is 50. 
and then the, once we have found the value of x we substitute into equation 4 so therefore y is equals to 3x x is 50 3 times 50 the answer is 150 okay.